particle motion with the temperature of water. Again, we have three bowls of water. The bowl over here has ice cubes in it, and this is the current temperature. It's hovering right around uh, 32, 35 degrees, which is uh, Fahrenheit. This one right here is a little bit higher. That's about 60 degrees. We're about to add boiling water, and we know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. boiling water. Once again, we're going to add two drops of food coloring to each bowl. The bowl with the boiling water is almost now completely green. The bowl with the room temperature water, about 60 degrees, is spreading out a little bit. And the bowl with the ice water is not spreading out much at all. It is spreading out some, but not much. We're going to wait five minutes and come back and see what happens. Actually, we're just going to let this sit here for five minutes. Alright, so it is now 50, 5 minutes past. We are watching what happens with three different temperatures of water. 500 milliliters each. We have ice water, which is hovering around 32 degrees. Room temperature water, which is around 60 degrees. This is all Fahrenheit. And then we've got recently boiled water, which is still steaming. I don't know if you can see that which at boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. And we're not seeing a lot of change in the ice water. The particles are moving, but pretty slowly when compared to the room temperature water, and definitely slower than the boiling water, which is now completely uniform in color those particles have completely spread out. So two questions. One, what does this mean between the relationship with heat and particle motion? And two, how could I have made this experiment better? What could I have done to my procedure to improve the accuracy of this experiment? It is now 30 minutes later. We're examining our bowls again. We are still at about 60 degrees on this bowl. And you can see that the color is almost completely dispersed, same as the boiling water. But the cold water, the ice water, is still about half clear. There's still a very large blob of food coloring the bottom of the bowl, it's not moving around a whole lot. It is moving some. You can see that there's some of it moving around the bowl there. Wipe some of the condensation off. But it's still mostly concentrated right where we dropped it. So what's going on there?